Hey yo guys, Pete here again. So today I've got a little showcase for you of my Moria Goblin army. This is a pretty small force compared to other forces you guys have probably seen. But I will get down to breaking down each little section of them and hopefully you enjoy it. But I will give you a quick rundown of what I have. I have at least close to 24 Moria Goblins, 4 Prowlers, 2 Black Shields, Cave Troll, Bat Swarm, Shaman, Proxied Captain, well it is a Goblin Captain, and Durbers himself. So anyway guys, let's get down to discussing each part of my army. Okay, so now we're on to, we're starting us off, sorry. Now we're starting us off with the heroes, or my small amount of heroes. Uh, basically, as you can see, Durbers, main leader, I know this is one of the armoured Moria Goblins, but it makes a great captain, as I cannot seem to find the captains really, or I can find them but not very cheap, and my old Shaman as well, which is really handy and really useful. So basically, Durbers can take his full 15, my captain can take a full 12, and the Shaman takes 4. Usually I try and split at least the Cave Troll and Bat Swarm into either Durbers or the Captain's Warband or even just throw in the Shaman since you can transfix and then boom the Bat Swarm comes flying in to really mess things up. Uh, nothing too major done with them. Just got the whole rusted up armour. Well not Durbers so much. His more cleaner, fresher looking. Make it look like he's just recently been raiding dwarven tombs. Also, the captain, on the other hand, has seen a lot of war. I know there's little bits that need touched up on his armor. I am looking at getting another heavy armored goblin like this to act as a captain. And like I say, my old shaman as well. Now, way back when, you could still buy ordering stuff out of GW. Is this going to focus? I obviously got Durbers and my Shaman in blister packs. I do admit I would have preferred to get another Shaman way back then. Yeah, I don't know why before anyone asks. I don't know why I've done red and blue hair on them. But I think it just adds to the madness. Uh, another Shaman with this sort of... Just a spear and that sitting back. But yeah, like I say, I can basically... Give both of them, oh sorry, both of them, all three of them full warbands, which is pretty great. I do admit, another captain, I was, I've came so close twice to get a Black Shield Shaman, I'm so wanting one, but I guess just like something that you'll see shortly that I'm glad I've got in my army, there is a chance that I might find one, it's just I keep getting outbidded, that's the only thing, if someone was selling one at a decent price, happy days. It's always just bidding. Uh, yeah, like I say, Durbers is an absolute tank. Well, he is, unless you start chipping his wound, uh, his fate off and that. If I remember right, he's 3 2 2 for Might, Will, and Fate, which is pretty decent, I guess. I know a lot of people are probably going to say in the comments section, oh, the Grub Log would be better. Yeah, he would be, but. I can't find them either. I can't even find a failcast version of them on eBay is another thing. But like I say, let's get down to the main part of my Mori army, the troops. Okay, so this is the final part of the breakdown for my Mori army. Basically, this is it. Massive stompy cave troll. Absolutely dangerous in game, unless like I have done, came up against uh, played with him against the Vanquishers, he kept getting blasted on his butt, basically, which is not fun. And the Bat Swarm. Now, I was just thinking last night before I recorded this, the Bat Swarm is the only proxied model that I've got in my Moria army, which is crazy to think that. It's, it's expensive to buy a original Bat Swarm. And this one that I did find on eBay is actually pretty good. I keep... I actually have the wrong way around because I forget where the faces are. I need to do something. I need to remember 
that if the bark, the, the rock at the back is facing me, then that's obviously the back of it. But like I said, I think this is due for a bit of a touch up as well. Basically, I've got it set up on a bit of bark, because if that bark wasn't there, it'd be right down to the base, it'd be pretty low to the ground. Just some basic grass tufts. But like I say, in game, the bat swarm is a pain in the neck. Being able to fly 12. Oh, I'm losing the camera again almost. Uh, being able to fly 12 cause heroes to get their fight value rounded down to half or anything like that. It does suck that it's fight one, but then again, it's a 35 point. Is it 35 point or 30 point? I don't know what the new points cost now. 30 point pain in the neck for a lot of people. I might consider even getting a second one, I don't know. But we'll just see. And obviously, the one thing that I wanted so long for my army was a cave troll. And like a lot of people saw with the short lighted post up when I got this, that I got the cheapest, okay, not fully assembled cave troll in the UK. It was about 10, 10 pounds I basically got this for. Obviously, the spear was snapped off. I'm still searching eBay for a proper Moria one. This is glued in with, from it is glued in place, but I can easily snap it off if I do find another one. Or even if I found, well, actually, I can't chop off the arm because it's this arm that comes off. I would probably just snap it off and put a proper one on. Or I know probably someone's going to say in the comments, oh, you could find a Volt Warren team. Yeah, find. That's the hard part. But like I say, this was a bit of a difficult paint job. I may think about stripping it down again at some point and redoing it. But at the moment he's okay. He's not it's not perfect. It was quite a challenge I felt to paint this. I don't know how well, I don't know how other people feel when they've painted cave trolls, if it was fun, easy, hard. I do admit the arms and the waist it just kept breaking, but I did find an amazing super glue. If anyone does have any problems with metal miniatures, look, I'll actually go find it for you. Okay, yeah, sorry guys. Yep, this is the super glue that I'm talking about, Ox Super Glue. Basically, this stuff is nuts. I didn't expect it to be able to bond this met the troll together. It is not pinned or anything. If I snap his arm off, you'll see it's not pinned, if I can snap off with this glue. Uh, three, four pound. This super glue was from the factory shop, or if you can find it online or that. Please be warned, do not, do not put it near your skin. I actually burnt my, sort of part of my arm, because it was brushed against the, I probably won't even, no, I can't even, no. It sealed itself shut again. I'm going to have to try and break it open. It's got a sort of bristle brush that you can use. And it just bonds so fast and so quick. It's amazing stuff. Really cheap, really amazing. But enough of that. You're more here about my army or the small parts of it. So, yeah, like I say, I've got my cave troll and bat swarm to be absolute pains in the neck, unless I'm coming up against magic, e.g., the vanquishers. And my troll ends up on his butt constantly. True story, he did. But, yeah, let's get down to a full showcase and. Just a final roundup of how much all this army costs and the full points cost. Okay, so let's move on to this easy part of the video. Uh, trip, trip wise, sorry the camera's way fall there. So trip wise, we have a good selection of Mario Goblins, not quite 24. I have seven swordsmen, 10, nine spearmen and nine archers. Now I know that's pretty much legal because there's too many archers, but obviously the set, sorry, I'm just trying to move the camera guys. The set that I bought, the second set, was obviously kind of mixed and stuff. It wasn't four, four and four, which was a bit annoying. But obviously in the beginning, I started out with a pack of 12 goblins, just like everyone probably did buying the paint sets and got them cheap that way. I'll just show you a few of the swordsmen. There's the camera, there we go. I don't know why it shows up like that. Oh, there we go. Kind of referred them that way. I just went for a sort of the basic goblin colours, rusted up the armour and stuff. I'm doing it again. Nothing too fancy. So they've all got the red cloth, rusted up armour, 
black wash over them. Really simple effect, really fast and really easy. A little bit of dry brushing as well. Very, very light dry brushing if that. The bases are basically just a sort of ready, reddened up flock that I bought from a craft shop nearby. It is actually Jarvis, Jarvis Scenics, so it works really well. Uh, like I say, obviously this is an illegal, legal amount of archers, but in the games I have played, archers haven't exactly been very useful or handy. I do need to buy. I'm guessing at least four more swordsmen, or four, uh, two swordsmen, two spearmen, at least just to counteract that. I don't know what you guys think if I should just obviously count. Uh, I can buy more swordsmen and spearmen singly because there's just a few people on eBay, the one person on eBay is doing that for about a pound ish per model, which is pretty good. So, yeah, like I say, I've got at least, oh, there we go, at least about 20, 24 goblins. Good little force. Uh, you've, already, you've already seen the heroes, but I wouldn't wait to obviously just break down the warbands. Obviously, Durvers can get his 20, eh, sorry, 24. His 15, the captain can get the 12, and the shaman can get at least 6 in his warband. That's including, obviously, Batswarm, Cave Troll, Prowlers, etc. The Black Shields as well. Obviously, this is just a basic little paint job on them, nothing too fancy. I, I got really bored of the old version, sort of grey rundown bases. Obviously, you can still see a bit of the grey sticking underneath. I still need to do little bits of patch up jobs on these. I kind of neglected them, just painted them out, done the bases and stuff. But like I say, the black with the red just pops. Well, it stands out. And a few little rocks on the bases as well, little emerald rocks. It gives a good little effect. Uh, I don't know what else to really say about them other than the fact that obviously, like I say, half of it was a paint set, which GW should bring back that. They, that was amazing, being able to get 24 models or, or Warhammer Fantasy 4K, etc. We got at least a good handful of models, or obviously swap them up in that, is what I really mean, switch it up every now and then. Right, let's get on to the elite troops, as I want to call them, or my main hitters in my little mini force. Okay, on to my main sort of hitters, or elite little troops, as I want to put them. Uh, this is pretty much it, <laughs> sorry guys. Obviously, I've only got four prowlers and two black shields, but at the moment, I'm obviously happy with that. Uh, I got the prowlers way back when, when you could actually buy them from a GW, so they were pretty cheap. Uh, I'll obviously, at the end of the video, give a quick rundown of how much everyone cost. I've just realised I should have done that with the trips. Oh, sorry, just trying to get the camera to focus. And obviously, two black shields, who are very handy. I know a lot of people hate them. Come on, focus camera. I know a lot of people hate them, but they make good little bodyguards for Durvers. I loved sort of trying to get a dirt, sort of dirty white felt effect. Eh, felt. Fur. Pelt. Fur pelt on the back of these. It didn't quite work. But. Alright, just wait to. There we go. Now it's focusing. Try and do that. The same with the black shields. Sorry, silvered armor, red cloth, rusted up everything. Obviously, at least with the black shields having more armor on them, there's a lot more you can see with the rust effect. Like I say, prowlers, I absolutely love these. They are so dangerous in game. Throwing weapons, two handed axe. My hair is still in there. I've been meaning to do it off for weeks. Uh, massive two handed axe. And being able to trap people as well. These guys recently have had to repaint as well, like everything else did once I got the extra goblins. Same with these guys, rusted up everything, done the bases, added rocks to them. Just gave them a fresh touch up. Because they were pretty basic way back when when I got them. Sorry, same pose again. Nothing too fancy with this one, just basically the same. And then the one with the hood up, well, hood up and mask over his face. Keeping safe. Hmm. <laughs> Silly joke. Uh, yeah, like I say, these guys are great. Great little seven to eight point dangerous little guys. Obviously, black shields are great as well. 
but the fact that I'm being defended six, it's our highest. Second, sorry, one of the three highest defense models in my force, obviously, Durbers is defense six, Cave Trolls defense six as well. Uh, like I said, I'll get down to the point, uh, not points cost, the total cost on the army spent when I get to the end. But like I said, I got these way back 2008 at least. Like I said, obviously they're still in GW stores before you had to do pre-order online. Okay, let's get down to the main, the big baddies themselves. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little rundown on my Mario list. It's nothing too great or nothing too special, but... It is what it is. I am slowly working on it and stuff. And like I said, I will break down the actual, I'll put, hopefully put here, points cost and the total cost as I work it out. Roughly, oh, I've spent about £80 at least. Roughly £80. I'm getting close to that. So that's still pretty small for what I've got. Uh... I'm trying to remember the Mori Goblin paint set would have been about £15. I paid £10 at least for the extra goblins. £4 for the Prowlers. Shame would have been £4. Durbar's £4. My Captain was actually close to £10, which was annoying. Black Shields, they were bidden. I got them £4 each, so £8. Bat Swarm, £3. And Cave Troll, about at least £10. But this is just like a rough cost. And a rough points cost as well, I believe um, 450 area, I believe I am, the last time I calculated it. Like I say, I'll put it up here, the proper points, proper cost. I'll just I'll probably just put a I'll think say an 80-ish pound. Because I'm not really gonna try and tally up the cost. But like I say, I'm just basically getting down the rough idea of how much it all costs. By the way, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, seen it. Sorry about the last time I put this up, that it was basic. Just basic nonsense. You couldn't really see anything. If you guys do want to see anything, any more of this army, want to do build it up, please leave a like or a comment. And yeah, what should I add? I know I've got something in mind that I'm going to get two of. Very fast, annoying things. That I'm going to get two of very strongly, but they're going to be proxies. So there goes me saying that the Bat Swarm's the only proxy in my army. Anyway guys, enough rambling. Hope you guys have enjoyed the showcase and I will see you next time. Bye.